soaps. My name's Katie Carson. I'm the Duchess of Suds here at this channel and today we are going to make some citrus soap for our Tootie Fruity collection launching at the date listed on the screen right now. We will have six new artisan soaps available then, three with frosting and three without and of course we'll have all of our shampoo bars, conditioner, body lotion, all that kind of good stuff available then as well. In fact most of that is available right now on the website because as far as I know we still haven't sold out which is fantastic here we are finally keeping everything in stock if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram I've been really 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 active on those two social media platforms recently TikTok most especially I'm gonna do a big giveaway over there only for people that follow me on TikTok and then on Instagram I have a couple of polls I'm gonna be asking you about for summer content I want to know your opinions as far as like videos and stuff goes so I'm just letting you know those are gonna be over there on Instagram and TikTok those are the really are the only other two that I use right now today's soap is also the soap for our May babies so it's going to have our May birthday stamp on there there's a little flower on it it's very very cute I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and without further ado let's make some soap Okay guys, are you ready to make some delicious orange soap? This is actually going to be a very similar soap to the crystal soap I made in our nature collection. I really, really liked the way that looked and I thought, let's just do that with a lot of creamy oranges. It's gonna look so good. Also, I have a slightly, I mean slightly different setup for filming over here because I brought in the gigantic tripod. What was Caleb calling it? Behemoth. Behemoth? <laughs> Behemoth can get up to like 10 feet tall. It's enormous. And I brought in the big gun so we could get you guys an even better view than before. And so that I wasn't having to like lean over the whole table. <laughs> My back was wrecked after nature month. All right, let's go ahead and blend this up real quick. All the birds are singing, what a beautiful day. Tonight I know the moon will rise and sun. Perfect. <laughs> it looks so good. I think the temperature in here must be really, really good because that batter looks splendiferous. Okay, so now I'm gonna split this batch equally into five different containers. These are from the dollar store. As many of you guys know, I absolutely love dollar store containers. There's no reason you should pay more when you can get something just as good at the dollar store. Okay, hopefully I can pour this without too much much to too much ado much ado <laughs> with the pouring out of the round container and hopefully I'm making some accurate guesses here it's always a little more tricksy if you have five different containers instead of four it's all gonna be super swirly anyway though so I don't really have to worry that much I am scrapey scraping out my very very large round container here because we're gonna be pouring all these colors back into it and I don't want there to be any soap in there that's uncolored. I don't know why, me just saying that reminded me a lot of, uh, oh gosh, I forgot his name again. There's a whole section where Caleb includes footage of me forgetting this man's name. The Happy Hippie, what is his name? Oh gosh darn it, I can hear Caleb laughing during editing. I just, oh man, whatever his name is, he's very, very calming. And what I said remind me of whatever just <laughs> moving right along the first thing I'm adding in here is titanium dioxide we're gonna have a white container it's this one right here and then <laughs> we have tequila sunrise this is from Mad Micah's and then we also have a little bit of titanium dioxide so we're going to make that kind of a creamy orange color also I need a popsicle stick come to me my pretty we're out? What a crime. Where are my tiny spatulas? I miss my film room. Aha! I see one over here. <laughs> here it is, the tiniest spatula known to man. Excellent. Let's pour this in there real quick and scrape it out with the tiniest spatula. You can get these on Amazon. I was gifted these by a royal court member and have since bought more because 
They're the greatest thing since sliced bread. I use it all the time in my studio. I didn't remember that they had them over here. Excellent, okay. And then we're gonna put an undiluted version of Tequila Sunrise in this one. So that one's gonna be a bit more poppin'. A bit more sticky, get out of there. And then we have some pumpkin head mica. This is from Mad Micas as well. So pumpkin head is like the perfect pumpkin color. It is a red orange. So the Tequila Sunrise that I just put in is sort of a yellow orange, and then this one's kind of a reddy orange. So it's, it's perfect, two different orange tones. And then finally, the love of my life, True Yellow from TKB Trading. Best yellow on the planet, hands down. Mm, and now the real fun begins. So my fragrance oil blend, let's talk about it. This is a 50-50 blend of Aloha and Mango and Mandarins by Nature's Garden. So the Aloha is one fragrance oil and Mangoes and Mandarins is the other one. Give this a quick scrapey scrapey. I evenly distributed my fragrance oil blends into all of the containers here. And now we can stick blend. How perfect to have a little yellow stick blender. <laughs> Look at that color palette. I am so pleased. This is gonna look so good. Also, this fragrance oil blend performing super, super well. So I'm gonna move these off to the side and we're gonna start pouring them into our big bucket over here. Okay, big bucket, multiple pours. I'm going to shoot for two because I don't want the color to model that much. Also, I am not going to scrape out the containers because I wanna use the color on the top. Here's our Tequila Sunrise. Here goes our True Yellow. And here goes our Pumpkin Head. We're gonna do that again in fast motion real quick. All right, and now it is time to pour into my slab mold. And yes, that is correct. We're gonna pour it just like this, no stirring. One of the things that I see people really model their designs by doing is over stirring. You do not need to stir that much. If you're pouring stuff into a big bucket like this, it's gonna be plenty, plenty swirly as it is. Leave it alone, just dump it in. Okay, so I've let this sit up for about, oh, I'd say two or three minutes just so that it gets nice and thick so that when I pour it, it doesn't uh, over mix. It looks really good right now. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Honestly, so delicious. And um, for those of y'all who have been hankering for an orange creamsicle soap, this will probably do the trick. I don't think I will make an orange creamsicle soap with like the true orange creamsicle smell because It'll turn the soap brown, and we don't like that. Anything that has sort of a sweet, lovely vanilla smell, most of the time turns your soap brown, uh, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So all of those really tasty dessert type soaps often don't make it into um, my designs for that reason alone. Okay, so now it's time to do the drizzle on top. I'm just gonna scrapey scrapey on all my little white containies, and then we'll just put it on like so. Ooh, this white on top of the orange looks like marshmallow. I have been fighting the temptation to call you guys precious <laughs> the whole time I've been filming. You see, my friend Caroline, my best friend, my homegirl, uh, the only reason that I can keep doing what I'm doing and have two children, <laughs> She has decided that she wants to coin like a phrase. And so she has been calling everyone precious <laughs> in the same way that Gollum calls the ring my precious. <laughs> so she'll say like, oh no precious, but that can't be trusted precious. <laughs> And it became contagious because I hear her say it every day, it, it, every text conversation we have in person, it doesn't matter. She's calling somebody precious. She's calling me precious. I don't know. And so <laughs> I have had to stop myself like four times making this soap from saying, now we're going to put this in precious. <laughs> okay, last little bit in there, just like so. Oh, it looks smashing. All right, let me tap this down real quick. 
Excellent, excellent. Shall we swirl it? Let's swirl it. Oh yes. Well, doesn't that look tasty, precious? <laughs> Oh yes, that looks so good. I thought I might texture the top of these, but upon reflection, no thank you, a swirl is going to be the way I go. <laughs> I'll go around the ends just for good measure. La 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 part the oranges <laughs> oh my gosh so I'm going to turn this to the side otherwise I just know I'm gonna well actually Caleb taught me a trick he said to do it like this and then to place them in every other one and then just go fill in the gaps and that's a lot easier apparently here are our dried orange slices now in the future we will cut these in half but they are whole right now so that's how I'm going to use them I'm just gonna stick them in like so and they're very thin so it makes it really really easy to place I try to put it to the point where you cannot see, I guess, the middle of the orange, just for stability. When they get wrapped, um, most of the time we haven't had any trouble with them. A lot of soap makers use orange slices on tops of their bars because they're just a really good natural botanical additive. All right, and into the middle of all the bars they go, and then I'll take it off and put the next one in the middle. That's such a good idea. I'll tell you what, Caleb is so good at thinking up things like that. I don't know why his brain works that way, but he's always coming up with these shortcuts that in no way, shape, or form, skimp on quality, they only help with efficiency. I don't know why. There's just people who think like that, I guess. And it's such, such a nice trait to have. Oh, guys, I've been so excited recently with my studio getting finished. It's gotten warm outside again. I tell you what, after Snowmageddon here in Texas, everybody uh, has been so great for it to get warm. My kids have been so excited. We have pulled up some big stumps in our yard. We felt very adult-like to be pulling up stumps in the yard. And I can tell you, we had absolutely no clue how to do it. There's always stuff that comes along that's like that, that you're like, oh, how do I do it? You know, you watch a YouTube video or two, but you really just have to get out there and get it done and, and just give it a try. And the uh, school of hard knocks and all that, but, it seems like the more Caleb and I do that with projects around the house, we're like, gosh, we don't know how to, oh, I don't know, as an example, clean a gutter or something. We're like, well, guess there's a first for everything. Let's get up there and try. And the more we seem to do that, the more confident we get at trying new projects. Like I just kind of redid um, an interior bathroom and I don't know what it is about painting walls, but I just get so stiff and nervous about it. I'm like, oh, what if I hate the color? What if it dries funny? But the more I do it, the more I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can just paint over it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, slap some paint on that wall. No big deal, girl. What are you freaking out about? Nah, girl, just do it. Um, This looks amazing. Ba -ba 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 Anyway, I'm not doing nearly as big a garden this year. I did quite a large garden last year. For those of y'all who are around, y'all probably remember that. I got so many cut flowers. It was my very first time. I was so nervous and thought for sure I would only end up with like one or two bouquets. But I had bouquets coming out of my ears. I gave them to family and to friends. Um, I scattered them all about the house. Like it was a raving success and I thought that I would do it again this year, but I also didn't know I would be moving. <laughs> so I moved uh, and I didn't have as good a plot for that. I'm going to have to actually go like make a plot for it. Uh, we have dogs now and they will absolutely rip anything up. They are such big diggers. Um, and it was the worst when it comes to the flower bed. It has been the bane of my existence this spring outside. No pesty pests that are coming in that are like bugs. No, it's the dogs. <laughs> the dogs are just like, oh, I see you planted a whole bunch of bulbs. How would you like for me to dig them up and chew on them? Would you like that? Oh, excellent. <laughs> 
which means I have to put in fences and stuff, which is a whole nother task that I've never done before. And I just have to, I have to figure out and, and learn how to do. So this year, Caleb and I decided that we were just gonna try to maintain and improve what we already have and not put anything new in. That being said, I still have a little kitchen garden that Lily and I are growing. Tomatoes and lots of herbs and a little bell pepper plant and some strawberries and stuff for her and Will. So it's not a complete loss. It's just not as big as it was last year. Now, all the oranges are in, so I'm going to sprinkle some glitter just a little bit down the middle. I actually had Simeon buy more glitter than I'm going to be sprinkling, but I decided I just really liked the way this soap looks by itself, so I'm not actually going to sprinkle that much. Just a little bit down the middle here. Yes, la 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 la, la 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 la. I just want something a tad bit shimmery. Yes, and that pumpkin head is looking so good. I wanted to make sure I had tones of red in here so that uh, it could be kind of grapefruit, lemon, and orange. It's very much a citrus melody. It's not just orange, even though I'm putting the orange on the top. I think I just called it a citrus melody. <laughs> citrus medley. <laughs> I've been uh, not, I haven't been reading much recently and it is beginning to show in my vocabulary. I can always tell when Caroline and I have been reading good books because both our vocabulary improves significantly. And I know she's been reading good books because she's been saying a whole bunch of fancy words recently and I'm like, oh yes, yes. And then I have to go look it up later. Anyway, <laughs> let's tap the rest of this on. Just like so, and ta-da, Citrus Jubilee is complete. Here is what it looks like up close and personal. Some of these rinds are a little bit discolored, but that's okay. We like rinds of all shapes and sizes. We don't all have to be exactly the same. And it smells amazing. It's smelling up the whole room. I can't wait to cut inside. And that is exactly what we're gonna do in 18 to 24 hours after this quick commercial break. Turning what a beautiful day Red, orange, and yellow I say hello, won't you come out and play <gasps> Look at these colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled. I I'm gonna have to like remember all of my color blending for certain ones of these. Like this peach color is everything. And I, yeah, I'm gonna like write everything down so that I can use that in future batches because it looks so good. Okay, so let's go ahead, line this up. These are really easy to line up because the embeds themselves are so thin. Pull one from the middle. Oh, yes. Uh, that looks like a drink. This looks edible. Like I, I get a lot of people that tell me, Katie, I want to eat the soap. Like that's a very common compliment slash comment. And I've gotten over that feeling since obviously I've been making soap for a really long time. But this one, this one makes me want to do that because it just looks so good. Like, you know, you know, it tastes like an orange creamsicle. <laughs> it just does. It just looks like it does. Obviously, don't eat. You'll get soap poisoning. <laughs> Shout out to the people who know that reference. Okay guys, today's question of the day is a really functional one. I want to know if you guys want me to bring back the orange slice on top in the autumn whenever we do our fall collection with a cranberry orange bar because now that I've made these, all I can think about is making cranberry orange bars. If that sounds like a good idea to you, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I really, really, really like the gold glitter on top of these bars. I think it just, it's just that little extra just if you want to get this shirt or any of the other items in the background or these hair clippies, these are all from small businesses as are a couple of things back here. Obviously these are from Walt Disney. 
Can you see? Can you see what this is? This is the book at the beginning of Sleeping Beauty and the book at the beginning of Cinderella that opens up when the story starts. I wanted to purchase these a really long time ago and just was like, oh, I don't want to, oh, they're kind of expensive, oh. And then I was like, you know what? My life isn't going to be complete unless I have them. So there they are. Some of the best monies I have ever spent on material goods. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today. Like, I don't know, drinking some fresh squeezed orange juice. That's a really good idea. It's also so tasty. Or maybe some pineapple juice, you know, whatever floats your boat. I don't care what you do, just do something fun for yourself today and I'll see you over on TikTok and Instagram. So until next time, have an absolutely royal day. Bye for now. Meow.